Netflix right now has been firing on all cylinders, trying to bring people to watch their platform during December. I mean, seriously, between Lost in Space, The Witcher, and the upcoming fourth season of Cobra Kai, they're ending 2021 with a bang. And then in 2022, they have some big things planned as well. Not the least of which is the third season of The Umbrella Academy, their hit superhero series based on the beloved Dark Horse comic. Now, many questions are being raised about what the third season could hold, so allow us to show you how The Umbrella Academy Season 3 will release in 2022 and what to expect. Number 5. The Sparrow Academy Twist Easily the biggest twist about Season 2 of The Umbrella Academy is that of the Hargreaves family coming home to a non-destroyed world, which was their whole plan in Season 2, but it came at the cost of completely rewriting the timeline. Oops. Not only is their father still alive, but they were never brought together by him to form the Academy at all. Rather, he made the Sparrow Academy, a direct reference to the comics that are still coming out. So obviously this new Academy is going to be a major focus of Season 3, though how they'll interact with the Umbrella Academy is a bit unclear. After all, we only saw the characters in silhouette, but we did get some new details on the new kids on the block shortly after Season 2 ended. Like the Umbrella Academy, the Sparrow Academy involves seven members, each of whom is given a number to designate their favor with Sir Reginald Hargreaves. Although Ben, who sacrificed his spirit to save Vanya, if you recall, is involved in the group, he's not number one. That designation belongs to Marcus, described as a charming, chiseled colossus, who oozes confidence and leadership without ever having to raise his voice. In other words, he sounds like everything the Umbrella Academy's number one, Luther, wishes he could be. And you can bet that Luther will make note of that. Ben is number two, but this isn't the nice boy that we know and love. This version of Ben is a Machiavellian tactician, who is determined to gain his status as the leader at all costs. It is not clear if he still has the monster within power that we saw in the previous seasons, but it's likely given that this is a timeline change and not likely a powers change, as there's no logical reason that a timeline change would affect their gifts. That being said, his loyalty is being questioned by some reading between the lines, and one has to wonder how the Umbrella Kids will react to their brother being alive, yet very different. Brittany Oldford plays Faye, Sparrow number 3, who sees the world in a special way, and comes across as a misanthrope but wishes she had a friend, which might make her someone who wants to learn more about the original Hargreaves family and maybe connect with someone like Vanya or Klaus. Jake Epstein is Alfonso, Sparrow number 4, who bears some similarity to Diego, and that years of crime fighting have left his face and body with countless visual reminders of his battles. Alfonso makes up for his battle scars with a caustic and biting sense of humor, and kicking back with pizza and beer. Sparrow number 5, Sloan, will be played by Genesis Rodriguez. Sloan is a romantic and a dreamer who feels a higher cosmic calling. Hmm. Fresh off her memoir, No One Asked For This, Cassie David will play Sparrow number 6, Jamie, described as a loner hidden under a hoodie whose only friend is Alfonso. Sounds like Jamie's powers involve a fear-inducing snarl that would make anyone who sees it run across the street, which might explain why he only has one friend within the group. Rounding up the Sparrow Academy is number 7, Christopher. Christopher is a floating telekinetic cube. No actor is listed for Christopher, so he may not have a voice, but he is apparently treated by the other sparrows just like any of their siblings and acts as an oracle who dispenses incredible advice. The cube is also a reference to the comics and it will be interesting to see the personality of said cube and how it plays into the grander scheme of things. So yeah, that's a lot of new faces and they're no doubt going to play a huge role in what's to come for season 3. But again, their interactions with the OG Hargreaves is something that many are still wondering about. Will they try and get along? Will the OGs try and rewrite things again even though it'll cause even more problems? And just as important, what are the OG Academy students even like in this new timeline? Number 4. Future Changes, New Lives While the Hargreaves children did ensure that Vanya didn't destroy the world, everything they knew about their lives is either erased or rewritten. Their father is alive and he has a new family, but that's not likely the only changes. For example, since they weren't raised the way they were, some of their present history is likely gone such as Allison's daughter in her movie career, or Diego having been part of the police academy, and his former love being killed by Hazel and Cha-Cha. Luther obviously never went to the moon in this timeline, and you can figure out other changes from there. 
Will they be able to even live in this timeline? What's more, who's to say that their new lives aren't full of perils and pitfalls awaiting them? We'll find out. Number 3. The 43 Kids So let's look back now at the beginning of the series. We find that on October 1st, 1989, 43 children were randomly born into the world and Hargreaves found seven of them, and this became the Umbrella Academy. However, after that we didn't learn anything more about these 43 until Season 2. The Sparrow Academy adds six more members to the 43 children's ranks. We don't count the cube, obviously. And let's not forget Diego's Season 2 girlfriend, Lila Pitts. She too was revealed to be one of the 43 children with the power to mimic others' abilities, which means there are now 14 accounted for and 29 that are still out there in the world. Given the new timeline and the questions around the Sparrow Academy, it's possible that the remaining 29 kids, or at least some of them, are going to show up in one form or another. Whether it be by Reginald Hargreave's hand or someone else's, these kids are clearly a major plotline that keeps popping up in one form or another. Perhaps even one of them showing up in a villainous way and bringing the two academies together to fight against them? And don't forget that a certain kid from 1963 had his own powers thanks to Vanya. Number 2. Reginald's Backstory One thing we absolutely do know will happen in Season 3 is that we will learn more about this form of Reginald Hargreaves, and this comes right from the top via Steve Blackman, the showrunner for the series. My Season 3 goal for Hargreaves, played by Colm Fior, who is just amazing, is to learn much more about his backstory, he told TV Guide. Who really is Hargreaves? What is his agenda? What is the purpose of these kids? And knowing Hargreaves, we will know more about the origin story of these kids, hopefully. Blackman also teased that the alternate reality version of Reginald isn't the same, and the Hargreaves siblings may take advantage of the situation and try to resolve some of their daddy issues. If you look carefully, he's our Hargreaves, but he looks a little different, Blackman suggested. It would be a good guess that they have a chance to try to work out their issues. They did try it in Season 2 to some extent, but obviously that Hargreaves knew nothing about them. And you know, this Hargreaves is an older man, but they have a chance to sort of talk to him again, and hopefully they do better than they did in Season 2. Let's be honest here, it's not really in the cards, but hey, we have been surprised before. And number 1. New Abilities to Learn Another key element of Season 2 of Umbrella Academy was multiple characters showcasing new forms of their abilities. Number 5 has learned to rewind time in a more controlled manner, Luther is arguably stronger via his fighter training, Diego, via the initial flash forward, has much more control over items, Vanya can apparently transfer her powers to others in times of need, and Klaus has much more control over his summoning the dead and even interacting with them on certain levels. The showrunners teased right after season 2 that there might be more evolutions to their powers, including some team powers that the Academy themselves don't know about. And being as they don't have a pressing mission per se, given that they saved the world at a cost, perhaps they'll try and focus on each other like they did at the end of season 2. You never know. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Umbrella Academy Season 3 and what is likely to happen with both sets of Hargreaves children? Do you think that this could be the best season yet? What do you think will happen with the new timeline that is now in place? How will the characters grow when there's so much more uncertainty going on? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.